Welcome back to my Transformers Prime episode reviews. Today, we're taking a look at the episode Crossfire. In this episode, Arachnid is ousted from the Decepticons. But she has a surprise for her former comrades, as she has dominion over an Insecticon. We begin with Megatron planning to take out Arachnid. By the way, does it bother anyone else that it sounds like Megatron is just saying Arachnid? And what asset would that be, Arachnid? Arachnid. Her name is Arachnid. Maybe it's just me but it doesn't sound like he's calling her by her proper name. It's kind of annoying. Sort of like when people call me Ultra Prime. I'm not Ultra Prime. I'm Ultra Primal. There's an A-L at the end of my name, not an E. So Megatron tasks his newest Decepticon, Dreadwing, with the job of assassinating Arachnid. And he brings along Breakdown as backup. I know we've never seen eyes to eye, but that doesn't mean we can't patch things up. Aww, Arachnid teasing Breakdown would almost be cute if they weren't here to murder her. Also, I really want to see the conversation where Dreadwing recruits Breakdown to help him take out Arachnid. As we saw in a previous episode, Breakdown seems to have a thing for Arachnid. So I imagine he would be conflicted by the notion. It would have been great character development for him. But I guess that really wouldn't have mattered much anyways, because Breakdown is soon killed by Arachnid. Aww. I didn't even get to talk about how much I like Adam Baldwin in Chuck and Firefly. Oh well. So, Mech happened upon Breakdown's remains, which will play a greater role later in the series. Meanwhile, Starscream is scrounging for Energon when he encounters an Insecticon which is being controlled by Arachnid. Yes, minion. Approach me. Obey me. Worship me. Whatever you say, Arachnid. Oh, you mean the Insecticon. Uh, never mind. So yes, apparently Arachnid has the power to... dominate the will of Insecticons and make them her slaves? something which Starscream seeks to use to his own advantage, but as we know, Arachnid is not interested in partnership. Hmm, I guess that means that she's ace? And in a repeat of his scene from Orion Pax, Starscream again calls the Autobots for medical aid. Arachnid lures Megatron to the Energon Mine, where she has her pet Insecticon fight him. And I must say, it's interesting seeing someone throw Megatron around when usually he is the big imposing one in any given fight. Finish him! Wait a minute, didn't I already use this joke recently? The Autobots also arrive at the mine after receiving Starscream's coordinates. It would seem Starscream orchestrated this convergence in the hope that all his enemies would destroy each other on his behalf. Megatron defeats the Insecticon, but he is weakened by the battle. It would seem that I am unarmed and at your mercy. So tell me, Optimus, do you intend to take me alive? Or end this here and now? I'm a little surprised that Optimus was going to execute Megatron. But I guess I shouldn't be that surprised, as this isn't the first time that an Autobot attempted to off a defenseless Megatron. It seems that Jack is the only one to truly spare Megatron's life. Well, what are you waiting for? Think of the glory. Seize the day. Optimus would. No, he wouldn't. Actually, as we just saw, he would. So, I guess Megatron was right after all. Deliver Megatron to us, and I will allow you to live. Dreadwing. Do I have your word? C. 
See, this is why I like Dreadwing. I love a bot with honor. You disobeyed my orders and following me here. You will make a fine first lieutenant. No, I would think that disobeying orders would be a poor quality to have in a first lieutenant. It seems that Prime Megatron was following the same logic that Beast Wars Megatron did in yesterday's review. <laughs> a wise tyrant always allows a fool to take the lead in a crisis. Meanwhile, RC has gone after Arachnid and followed her right into a trap. Again. But she is saved by Starscream of all bots. Now, if there's one thing I despise nearly as much as eight leggers, it's two wheelers. And just when I was starting to like you, Starscream, you go and spout this prejudice. As I recollect, in a similar predicament, you once allowed me to live. Consider us even. Okay, now I like him again. And this episode ends with Arachnid finding a whole hive of sleeping Insecticons. Well, this was a pretty good episode of Transformers Prime. It's interesting how there were so many parties at play in this episode, but it never felt overburdened or encumbered by them. I mean, we've obviously got the Autobots and Decepticons. Then there's Mech and Starscream. And now Arachnid and her army of Insecticons are another wildcard in the mix. I can't wait to see how this all plays out. I do wonder though, what are all these Insecticons doing on Earth? Well, I suppose we'll find out in a future episode. It's also a little sad that Breakdown was killed off. I wonder how Knockout feels. That's another conversation that I wish we could have seen on screen. Him finding out that his boyfriend is dead. And as best as I can recall, we never see him go after Arachnid the same way that RC does. Hmm. Arachnid really does have a penchant for killing off Bot's boyfriends, doesn't she? Well, let me know what you thought of this episode down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff. And I'll see you back here for next week's episode, Nemesis Prime. This is going to be a good one. So I'll see you back here next week for that.